Yo, what is my one and welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to go over how to create this really cool typewriter effect in Final Cut Pro 10. So instead of like, you know, manually kind of having these, you know, individual letters show up, you know, this uh, Final Cut Pro 10 has its own like built-in preset, which is a pretty cool, you know, text effect. So I just want to make a quick video kind of showcasing or, you know, going over this really cool effect because you may not even, you know, know this actually exists. And there's just a small little easy effect that I think anybody could use. So I'm going to go ahead and do just click on Command N. I'm just going to create a project and we'll just call this example right here. I just want to kind of show you how to um, create, uh, like recreate it from scratch. Again, this is just a small little effect, but I thought this would be really cool to make a video just to kind of make you aware because I've been editing for years and I didn't even know this effect um, existed in Final Cut. So I'm going to do right here, I'm just going to import a custom generator right here and then I'll go ahead and just, I'll, I'll leave it at 10 for that. You want to go to text right here. You want to go to titles right here. Go to search bar right here, and then type in. I mean, I'm sure you probably guessed typewriter. So that's the name of the the effect right there. You can see here typewriter right here. So we're gonna take the typewriter effect and we'll just drag it on to Final Cut Pro 10, or drag it on top of the custom generator right here. So let's go ahead and play it right here, and let's see what it looks like right there. As you can see, that's what it looks like right there. And if you wonder, can I customize it? Yeah, you can. There's actually a lot of you know different customizations um, you can do I mean, you know I'll just gonna go cover the basics of it I and mean, then you know you obviously you could go more in depth but we can do right here go over here I like my favorite font by far is Futura so I'll scroll down and find it so Futura right here and then we'll just go to like bold right here just for an example and then I'll just you know type in uh, my name um, right here so I'll just type my name right here and then I'll just change the size um, right here just kind of for the example, and then obviously, you know, if you want to send your text, you can go to view, go to show horizon right here, go to the inspector window and go to the Y axis, and we can just drag it down just to make sure if you want the text, you know, completely centered. That's how you do right here, just show horizons right here. So now we have the text centered right here, and then we have customized, you know, the font. Uh, the size, the position, the scale, and that's what it you know, looks like right there. So I'll go ahead and just play it right here. Can you see what the final edit looks like right here? As you can see, there you go. It kind of just slowly types my name onto the text right onto this uh, onto the screen right here. Another thing you can do too is you could head over here. We could change the duration. So let's change the duration to like 20 right here. Obviously, you, you can also fade it in. There's a couple other options right here. So I go ahead and play it right here. Obviously, as you can see right here, it comes in a lot faster. So obviously, the, the lower the duration is, the faster it comes on. So you can like crank up the duration to like 80. So I'm guessing like if, you, if you have like a really long name, crank up the duration. If you have a shorter name, you know, slow down the duration. So it just depends. And that's what it looks like at, at 80 right there. I think that looks pretty good. Maybe like 70 would look good for my name right there. But that's all you want to do right there. As you can see right there, there you go. There's a text effect. You can adjust the duration, you know, and see. You know, it, it, it's all going to depend on the text. I just wanted to cover the basics. You also like head over here to tracking right here. I'll go to uh, let's on full screen right here. You can go to tracking right here. As you can see right here, you can just stretch out the letters right there. You know, put them in right here. So if you want to kind of have that letters kind of stretched out, you can just adjust the tracking right there. That's just, you know, one small feature. You can go ahead, you know, go all caps, baseline, glow, drop shadow. There's a whole bunch of stuff you can do with the text. But I just want to cover the, the name of the effect and then what the effect actually looks like right there. And then also to just, you know, give an example, I can go ahead over here to like a uh, sound effect. So let's go ahead and wait until, you know, my uh, name pops up right there. Okay, so there's the first letter. Place a marker and let's just like add a typewriter effect um, right here. So we'll kind of let it play right here. So you, you can have this like really cool kind of typewriter um, sound effect right there. This is just, you know, an example. It ends right there. So let's, you know, let's just trim it right here. Yeah, this is just, you know, a brief example. There you go. Now you have kind of like that typewriter sound effect right there. And voila, you create this really cool, quick and easy um, typewriter effect in Final Cut. Like I said before, I've been editing for years and I genuinely did not know this effect actually existed in Final Cut. I used to do it completely manually. I didn't even know this effect existed in Final Cut. So hopefully this helped you out if this is the kind of the, the text effect 
um, you want to do too. I know this is kind of a shorter video than some of my other ones, but I just want to quickly go over, you know, a quick little effect that, you know, definitely is, is a very you know, viable and usable uh, effect that you probably use um, in, a, in a lot of your own videos. And that's pretty much it. Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you found it helpful and informative. If you're new to this channel, I upload Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials every week at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you do these types of videos, definitely consider hitting that subscribe button. Also, a Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial playlist with over 250 Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials. Anyways, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.